I'm the coolest rat on the entire world of the internet. Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem we have A, a set of integers, and we're going to define a relation, we're calling it twiddle, on the Cartesian product, so A cross A, uh, by the following. We say AB twiddle CD, or AB is related to CD if A plus D is equal to B plus C. So a nice way to think about this is that we're adding the outer elements. So A plus D uh, is equal to B plus C. So the sum of the outer is equal to the sum of the inner. Just, just a mental way to think about it so when we do the problem, we can work it out. We're going to prove that twiddle is an equivalence relation on A cross A. So recall that a relation is an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So let's go through the proof. So proof. So we'll start by showing reflexivity. So the claim, so reflexivity, reflexivity. So the claim, so what does it mean to be reflexive in this case? The claim is that AB is related to AB. So the claim is that AB is related to AB for all, for all AB, right? For all AB in the Cartesian product. So let's do it. So note, for any, right, for any AB in the Cartesian product, so for any AB in A cross A, right, um, what do we have? Well, what does it mean for AB to be related to AB? It would mean that, let's think about our, our definition, the, uh, the sum of the outers is the sum of the inners. The sum of the outers is the sum of the inners. Well, what is the sum of the outers, right? It'll be A plus D. So in this case, A plus B is equal to the inners, B plus A. So the outers is A plus B is equal to the inners, which is B. So outer is equal to the inners. So A plus B is equal to B plus A. Well, that's certainly true because addition is commutative. So this means that AB is related to AB. So that shows reflexivity. Let's do symmetry now. So symmetry, symmetry. So symmetry uh, says that, well, here's the claim. Claim. Whenever uh, A, so the claim is that if you have A, B, twiddle C, D, this should imply that C, D, twiddle A, B. So twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. <laughs> So if AB is related to CD, then CD is related to AB. That's what uh, symmetry is. So let's see if we can prove that. So suppose, and again, for any AB and for any CD, I won't write that. Uh, suppose you have AB, and that's related to CD. Then you just write down what this means, right? This means that the sum of the outers is equal to the sum of the inners. So then, A plus D is equal to B plus C. Okay, so... The outers is equal to the inners, right? The outers is equal to the inners. Good stuff. We need to show that uh, the outers is equal to the inners. So C plus B is equal to D plus A, right? So C plus B is equal to D plus A. So note, C plus B is right here. It's B plus C, right? So note, C plus B, which is B plus C, is equal to A plus D, which is the same thing as D plus A, right? Addition is commutative. So we already have it written down, so I'm just rewriting it. It's beautiful. So again, we, we suppose that AB is related to CD. That means A plus D is equal to B plus C. We have to show that CD is related to AB. That means that C plus B is equal to D plus A. But C plus B is equal to D plus A. Let's read it backwards. C plus B. C plus B is equal to D plus A. C plus B is equal to D plus A. C plus B is equal to D plus A. C plus D is equal to D plus A. It works out beautifully. So this shows, this shows that CD is related to AB, right? It's related to AB. A lot to think about when you do these problems. The last thing to prove is transitivity, okay? So I'm running out of room, so I'm going to attempt to erase this. It worked. It erased. Beautiful stuff. So let's prove transitivity. So transitivity. Transitivity. So what is the claim for transitivity? It's a little bit harder. So for transitivity, the claim is that um, if AB is related to CD and CD is related to EF, then, so if AB is related to CD and CD is related to EF, Transitivity, okay, transitivity says that AB is related to EF. It's transitive, right? Transmits, um, that's the right word. So then AB 
is related to EF. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so how do we prove this? Well, we start by assuming this is true and that this is true, and then we show this is true. So suppose, that's our claim. Now the proof. Suppose... AB is related to CD for any AB and CD, and CD is related to EF for any CD and EF, etc. For, for any A, B, C, D, and EF, right? For any A, B, C, D, EF, like the alphabet. <laughs> this means, so thus, or this means, well, what does this mean? This means that AB is related to CD. This means that the hours is equal to the enters. So A plus D is equal to B plus C. A plus D is equal to B plus C. So A plus D is equal to B plus C. And this means that the outer is equal to the inner. So C plus F is equal to D plus C. So C plus F is equal to D plus C. Okay, so now we have to show that AB is related to EF, right? That means the outer is equal to the inner. So I'm thinking we just write it down and do it. Let's just do it. That's how pros do it. So then A plus F. Let's see. So A plus F needs to be equal to B plus E. So one way to do it is to think about this. This is a proof. It has to be true, right? So let's just assume it's going to be and just work with what we have and we should get the answer. Let's see. So we have A plus F and we need to get to, um, right, 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 right. We're trying to show A, B is related to E, F. So we have A plus F and we need to get to B, E, right? We need to get to, I got a lot of stuff. I looked at my word. This is what we have to show. <laughs> so A plus F is equal to B plus E. So here's A plus F. So we already have A, right? We already have A. So let's, uh, it needs to be equal to B plus F, right? So let's, let's just replace, um, uh, let's replace the A. So A is equal to B plus C minus D, right? It's equal to B plus C minus D. B plus C minus D. So it's B plus C minus D plus F, right? That, that's all we've done so far is we've replaced our A. Now we can replace our F, right? F, right, F is equal to D plus E minus C. So this will be B plus C minus D, and F is D plus E minus C. So this is plus D plus E minus C. So D plus E minus C. Again, what did we do? We have A plus F. We're trying to get to B plus E. So we have A and F. So we get rid of A and F, and we hope we end up with B. We have A plus F, and we want to get to B plus E. So we replace the A with this piece. So A is B plus C minus D. B plus C minus D. B plus C minus D. F, I could have done it all at once, but I didn't. F is D plus E minus C. D plus E minus C. There it is. D plus E minus C. D plus E minus C. This is equal to, what happens? Oh my God, the C's cancel, the D's cancel, and we just get B plus E. So we have A plus F equal to B plus E. That's precisely the assertion that AB is related to EF. Thus, thus AB is related to EF. So this shows it's transitive. So we showed that our relation is symmetric, uh, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Therefore, it is an equivalence relation on the Cartesian product A cross A. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's made some sense. Until next time, thanks.